What's the deal, man? Y'all trying to get some better performance? Look, no fire, bitch. Your boy too easy, man. So look, we have uh, different performance modes. We got Windows, Silent, Performance, and Turbo. And then we got Manual, so you can set it your own way. So I choose Manual. When you choose Manual, you can change all these settings. Um, I got mine at 30, 30, and 44. That's when it's plugged in. So it's going to have a different settings. If it's not plugged in, it won't be able to do 30. So this is what it is when it's plugged in. So I, if you put these three all the way up, you will start getting high temps. And honestly, I'm afraid of high temps because that can start causing problems running, the, running your ally in PCs and stuff like that real high all the time. But it's set to be able to set like 95C. So, but like I said, I still don't, you know, trust that, you know, fully. Um, so I got mine 30, 30, 44. Now my fan curves, and this was for both of them. I got them both the same way. Um, I got it set at 10%, 34. Um, 40C, I got that 10% still. Now when it gets to 54, I got it at 30, 55, 90, 90, then 100. And this keep my um ally pretty cool. It keeps it around like 70 to 80. It don't go too much past 80. Um, so I find these the best for me so far. Like I said, you can play around with it and see um, what you get out of these and your temps and everything, FPS. Um, I got my memory um, GPU at 4G. I seen people say put it on auto, but I feel like 4G right now is the best to go with. Another thing you want to make sure you do is update. Make sure your stuff is up to date. That will also help you, of course. Make sure it's up to date with the Army Crate. And then you go in here, my Asus, and make sure this is up to date, which I'm sure most of you already know. So make sure that's all up to date. That helps. Um, another thing you can do, there's a this back button on the back, either one. You can hit one of the back buttons and press down, and it will bring up the task manager. So I just make sure not a whole lot of things are being used up. Of course, you're gonna have all this stuff here, but um, I try to close out some things that I might not be using. And if something pop up like, uh, see, nothing popped up with that. See, I just close, I go through and close stuff that's not being ran. Also, understand that not all games will run the same. Some games are more demanding. So you got to go into those graphic settings and change and tweak those graphics. Sometimes you got to go low. Some games are running high and still have high FPS. Um, it's still a work in process. We're still learning this device. But I also got this other thing that kind of helps. Um, I'm not 100% with it yet, but um, after I'm going to do some tweaking with it and get back with y'all and touch more uh, on this little thing right here. So this right here is like a quick little menu you can use to do certain things on the um, Ally, Bluetooth, all stuff like that. Um, mute, emulate, mouse, stuff like that. But if you click on Advance, you got a whole bunch of other settings in here that you can mess with, uh, max CPU count, power limit, temperature limit, stuff like that you can mess with. I haven't messed with any of these yet. I literally just got this. Um, so I'm gonna kind of mess with it and see what um, works best for it. This looks like it will really um, push it to the limit. So even the power limit can go up to 60. I'm not sure how that works yet. Uh, I'm going to mess with it and see. But if y'all want to get it and try and mess with this for yourself, like I said, I haven't messed with it too much, so I can't tell you exactly what to do with it yet. Exactly. Like, um, as far as putting it to certain limits and all that, I'm going to have to mess with it myself. This is uh, a new menu that I just got. So if you would like to try it out, I'm going to have the link to it in the description. Also, if you do download it and when you install it, um, it will take you to another thing you need to install, which is Windows Runtime. And you have to install that for everything to work right. So it will automatically take you to that and start downloading it. So if you want to give it a try, it's there. But for the most part, if you don't, just follow everything I showed you and everything's work out just fine.
Okay, now we got GTA loaded up, y'all. Um, I'm just gonna use GTA as, a, as an example. Okay, as you can see, um, I'm getting 60 FPS and my temps is at 69. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful temp, man. That's a temp that I'm uh, comfortable with, Six, uh, 70. So, by the way, my GTA is heavily modded. As you can see, I got, you know, I got that, that caddy in there. You know what I'm saying? Heavily modded. I got an actual, the actual charger body. But, but anyway, we're going to get back to that later. Um, now, what's what happened when I put it on turbo mode, regular turbo mode? Watch the temps. The temperature starts shooting up. And it just it's just uncomfortable to see the temps that high for me. Even though um, it's said to be able to take up to 95, it literally goes up to 95. I don't like that. I'm not about to sit here and play for you know hours on that temp. I mean, it seems to still be running for I'm still at 60 because I have it at um on a V Sync half. Hey, cuz. Anyway, I got it on V-Sync, so the FPS didn't move. It got it locked at 60. But it's at 91 now, but like I said, I just feel comfortable at a lower temp, and it's still at 60, so. So when you hit that, watch the temp. Me, personally, I don't mind hearing fans as long as I know they're doing this job, you know. So there go the temps, drop it right back down. That's comfortable for me. And usually the more cool, the better um, performance you get, FPS you get. Um, like I said, this FPS is not moving because I got it on V-Sync and it got it locked at 60. Keep so now we on Call of Duty. Um, Warzone, as you can see, the temps are at 82. Um, don't get much higher than that on manual settings. These are bots, by the way. I'm not paying real people. I'm just testing, showing the FPS and performance and stuff. So, you're getting 100 FPS in the temps around 90, uh, 79 to 90. Now, watch when I turn on regular tunnel mode. Now the tips rising again. The FPS is still doing decent. I mean, about the same. Seems like it does a little better while I, it's a little more stable. It feels like. Um, feels more stable when it's on manual. So I'm gonna turn it back to manual. Watch them tips drop. I just feel more comfortable with lower temps. Tim's back down, and I'm more comfortable with that. I feel like we can get a lot more out of the ally though, with more updates to come. I feel like it's capable of a lot more. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. It's just uh, mainly to keep your allies cool, man. That's the that's the important part, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm going to catch y'all next.